best way to describe the brachial plexus is the electrical power grid of the upper extremity. It's where all the nerves mix and match to create the peripheral nerves of the hand and limb. Peripheral nerves are those um, conduits that carry signals from the brain to the fingertips and to every muscle in between. And if you injure the plexus, you will lose partial or complete function of elbow flexion, shoulder elevation, and other functions. The most common scenario with somebody who's had trauma, either a car accident or a motorcycle accident or a fall off a significant height, and they have paralysis of one arm. It's either partial arm paralysis or full arm paralysis. More typically, they can move, like for instance, their hand, but not their shoulder and elbow. And so if they have that kind of scenario where they had those mechanisms and that kind of um, physical finding, uh, that's highly suspicious for brachial plexus injury. Sometimes some of these injuries will spontaneously recover because nerves do have the ability and capacity to regenerate on their own. So we evaluate it and we look to see if the plexus is regenerating or has a capability of regenerating. If it isn't and it looks like it won't regenerate, then there are surgical procedures that can be performed to help restore function. I think it's very important for patients to know what they're getting into and we spend a lot of time when they come here helping the patient understand the type of injury they've had. I think people feel when they come to an orthopedic hospital, orthopedic musculoskeletal hospital like ours, that some magic can be done and they can be back running, biking, all those other things fairly quickly and in fact to be honest that's what we are known for. With the nerves, we have to go by the nerves timetable, not our timetable, and not the patient's timetable. And so allowing a patient to understand that their recovery will not be measured in terms of hours and days. Their recovery will be measured in terms of months and years. And resetting their expectations and resetting their timetable is a critical part of a satisfactory result.